Hey, Tom, it's great to see you. How are you settling into the city life? Hey, Mark. It's been quite an adjustment, to be honest. I moved in last week, and everything feels so different from what I'm used to back in the countryside. It's a bit overwhelming, but exciting at the same time. I can imagine. Moving from a rural area to the city is a huge change. What's been the most challenging part so far? I'd say the pace of life. Back home, everything was slow and relaxed. You know, you wake up, have your coffee on the porch, chat with the neighbors, and then get to work. But here, it's like everyone is always in a rush. The streets are busy, people are on their phones, and it feels like there's always something going on. It's hard to keep up. That's true. The city has its own rhythm, and it can be a bit hectic, especially for someone who's used to the calm of the countryside. But trust me, once you get used to it, you'll start to appreciate the energy and opportunities it offers. Have you had a chance to explore the city yet? A little bit. I've been trying to familiarize myself with the area around my apartment. I found a nice little park nearby, which reminds me a bit of home. But honestly, the sheer size of the city is intimidating. Back in my hometown, I knew everyone and everything. Here, I feel like a small fish in a massive ocean. I get that. The city can feel impersonal at first, but it's also full of hidden gems. You'll find your own spots that make it feel more like home. What about the people? How's the social scene treating you? That's another thing that's been a bit tricky. People here are friendly, but it's different. Back home, Everyone knows each other, so there's a sense of community. You can just walk into someone's house without knocking, and they'll offer you tea or something to eat. Here, it feels like people are more reserved, more focused on their own lives. It's been hard to make connections. Yeah, city life can be a bit more isolated in that sense. People are often busy with their own schedules, so it takes a bit more effort to build relationships. But once you start to meet people with similar interests, You'll find that there's a community here, too. Have you thought about joining any groups or clubs? Actually, I've been thinking about it. I used to be really into hiking and nature walks back home, so I was considering joining a hiking club or something like that. I miss the outdoors, and I think it would be a good way to meet people who share that passion. That's a great idea. The city might not have the same kind of natural beauty as the countryside but there are still plenty of outdoor activities. There are some great hiking trails just outside the city, and joining a club would definitely help you meet like-minded people. I hope so. It's funny, though. I never really appreciated how much I loved the countryside until I moved here. The fresh air, the wide-open spaces, the quiet. It's something I took for granted. Now, every time I hear a car honking or see a skyscraper, I can't help but feel a little homesick. That's totally understandable. The city has its own kind of beauty, but it's very different from the countryside. It's natural to miss the things you grew up with, but at the same time, think about all the new experiences you'll have here. There's so much to do and see, and who knows, you might even discover a new side of yourself. That's true. I'm trying to keep an open mind. I know that moving here is a big opportunity for me especially for my career. There are so many more job prospects in the city, and I'm excited to see where it takes me. But yeah, it's a bit of a balancing act between embracing the new and holding on to what I loved about home. It is a balancing act, but you'll find your way. What kind of work are you hoping to get into now that you're in the city? I'm looking into marketing. It's something I've always been interested in, and the city is the perfect place to get my foot in the door. Back home, there weren't many opportunities in that field, so moving here seemed like the logical next step, but I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous about it. It's a competitive industry. That's a solid choice. Marketing is a great field, and the city is definitely the place to be for that kind of work. It can be competitive, but you've got the drive, and that's half the battle. Plus, your background could give you a unique perspective. Sometimes coming from a different environment can be an asset. I hadn't thought of it that way, but you're right. Maybe my experience in a rural area will give me a different approach, something that sets me apart. It's just about finding the right angle, I suppose. Exactly. 
And remember, everyone in the city is from somewhere else in a way. Whether it's another country, another town, or just another neighborhood, people are always bringing their own unique experiences to the table. That's what makes the city such a vibrant place. That's a good point. I guess I just need to give myself time to adjust and find my niche. It's a big change, but it's also a big opportunity. I'm trying to stay positive about it. You've got the right attitude, Tom. It's all about perspective. Sure, there are challenges, but think about all the new things you'll get to experience. Have you tried any new foods yet? The city is known for its diverse food scene. I have. I went to this little hole-in-the-wall place that serves the most amazing ramen. I'd never had anything like it before. It was so different from the food I'm used to, but I loved it. I'm looking forward to trying more. That's awesome. The food scene here is incredible. You can find just about anything from all over the world. It's one of the perks of living in a big city. You should definitely take advantage of it and try as many different things as you can. I will. It's one of the things I'm most excited about. Back home, we didn't have much variety when it came to food. It was mostly traditional, hearty meals, which I love, but it's nice to try something new. The city has so much to offer in that regard. Definitely. And the more you explore, the more you'll discover. There are so many little neighborhoods with their own unique vibes, each with its own set of restaurants, shops, and attractions. It's like the city is made up of a bunch of little communities all packed together. That's something I'm really interested in exploring. I've heard about different neighborhoods that have strong cultural identities, like Chinatown or Little Italy. It sounds fascinating, and I'd love to learn more about the different cultures represented here. You should definitely check those out. It's one of the things that makes the city so rich and diverse. You can immerse yourself in different cultures without ever leaving the city. Plus, it's a great way to meet people from all walks of life. That's what I'm hoping for. I want to broaden my horizons and learn as much as I can. Moving to the city was a big decision, but I think it's going to be a great opportunity for personal growth. I just need to get out of my comfort zone. That's the spirit. It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing the new. It can be scary at first but it's also incredibly rewarding. And remember, you're not alone in this. Everyone who moves to the city goes through a similar experience. It's reassuring to hear that. Sometimes it feels like I'm the only one struggling to adjust, but I know that's not true. It's just a matter of time before I find my footing. Absolutely. And don't be too hard on yourself. It's only been a week. These things take time. Before you know it, you'll be navigating the city like a pro. I hope so. I'm trying to take it one day at a time and not get too overwhelmed. There's so much to learn and experience, and I want to make the most of it. That's the right mindset. Just take it slow and enjoy the journey. The city can be overwhelming, but it's also full of opportunities and adventures. You're going to have some amazing experiences here. Thanks, Mark. Talking to you has really helped put things into perspective. I'm feeling more optimistic now. I'm ready to take on whatever the city throws at me. I'm glad to hear that. And hey, if you ever need someone to show you around or just want to grab a coffee and chat, I'm here. We city folks need to stick together.